It's still WWE. Made the big mistake rehiring CM Punk. Here we go. Here we go. I told you. Like in the other video, I said I was probably going to be talking about it for the next week or two weeks. So, the rest of Lamia. Here we go. See what they're saying. Well, it's official. CM Punk is once again a WWE superstar. We thought we'd never even hear those words uttered ever again. But this is something that fans thought would never occur. Punk returning to WWE has instantly led to a ton of mainstream interest in the WWE product. While it's initially exciting that Punk is back in that WWE, picture, it's now time to look deeper into Punk's rehire. So join us now as we look at whether WWE have made a huge mistake in rehiring CM Punk. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. The CM Punk departed WWE in early 2014 in the worst possible circumstances. Punk walked out of the company following the Royal Rumble as Punk was in horrendous physical condition and he had an he endless he was issue fired. with WWE's creative system that <laughs> was in place he said he was fired. Punk had discussed in depth his reasons for leaving WWE and for the most part they completely justified. And a wrestler or any other individual should never be criticized for leaving a job if the job in question is causing physical or mental problems to arise. Following his WWE exit, things escalated between CM Punk and WWE as a vicious legal battle ensued between Punk and WWE Dr. Chris Herman, and any references to Punk on WWE television was seen as taboo, as fans often claim that Punk received the Chris Benoit treatment, which seemed like a rather drastic response from WWE. Punk would even be officially fired on his wedding day, which Vince McMahon did apologize for, yet fans for the past 10 years have been convinced that this wasn't a coincidence, and WWE McMahon knew exactly what they were doing. In the years that followed... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh my god! Years that followed his documented WWE departure, Punk would take a step back from pro wrestling and he would explore avenues such as acting and MMA. Punk had mixed results in these fields, however, Punk has always received praise for attempting something new and trying to branch out of the world of wrestling. Eventually, in 2021, Punk signed with AEW. This was without question AEW's biggest signing to date, and at first, things were going extremely well. Punk was having fantastic matches and he became a legitimate draw for the company. The issues between Punk and AEW started to become public knowledge at the All Out pay-per-view in 2022. Here Punk went off on members of the Elite during the post-show press conference and a subsequent fight between Punk and the Elite would ensue. This became the talk of the wrestling world and even though Punk would eventually return following a suspension, it wasn't before long that the trouble would once again surface. At the 2023 All In pay-per-view in London, England, Punk got into a physical interaction with Jack Perry, and it was said that this led to Tony Khan fearing for his life. Punk would be fired from the company shortly after, and many fans and wrestling historians believe that this was a costly mistake from Khan and AEW, and Khan should have had the management skills to be able to mediate with Punk. There were rumors for months that Punk would return at the 2023 Survivor Series. They would subtly tease Punk's return on Raw and SmackDown, and even though several reports stated that Punk wasn't coming back to the company, fans were still holding on to any hope that he would make his dramatic comeback. WWE delivered a unique presentation <coughs> with Punk's return. I still, th <coughs> still think it was a, a last minute thing because, um, <coughs> and then because I remember they said no signing for Punk, he's, he's not coming back. That's it. Next thing you know. Oh, uh, I started to hum the music again. Can't can't hum the music because they'll get angry with you about that. Oh boy, because I went back and watched the uh, um entrance. Boy, that crowd was louder than hell. Mm. They, they they um they were loud as hell. If you were in that arena, you probably couldn't hear yourself. Oh, that was something. And then I and then I saw like the stuff going around about Rollins. Rollins uh, shooting birds and, and and cussing about that. Uh, and they said that's fixed up, but I don't know. Then and they said some wrestlers stormed out the building. How about all that? <clears throat> How about uh, ready to quit over over one person? How about that? 
as the show was about to go off the air, but that was until cult of personality played and Punk returned to an enormous reaction. WWE had somehow managed to keep this a secret, and the head of that WWE you, creative boy. Triple H would discuss Punk's, Punk's comeback on the post Survivor Series press conference. This came together super quick, which I'm sure is why it stayed very tight. Mm. There was a lot of speculation. At that point it was nothing but speculation. For the most of the time it was speculation. It didn't really start to come to fruition until everybody stopped thinking it was going to happen and then all of a sudden it was happening, but extremely excited. The game would also discuss how he and WWE are thrilled to have Punk back in the company. You know a lot of time has gone by, almost 10 years right? Mm. If you're the same person you were 10 years ago, 10 years later you've messed up. Everybody grows, everybody changes. I'm a different person, he's a different person, this is a different company, we're all in the same even starting ground. So what's next for CM Punk? I'm interested to see that myself. I know whatever it is what yeah, we triple. talked about. It'll be exciting and it'll be a... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> triple H. What do they say? He's got the um, the business hat on now. So, Like I said in that that that, well, that video uh, yesterday, they probably... Uh, Got him straight before he got before he even <clears throat> got in the building. Good uh, uh, stuff, but uh, still, what happened in uh, AEW? Um, uh, yeah, for whatever. What's his name? Had to said anything? <clears throat> Punk probably wouldn't have got in his face, but and then folks already waiting. It's like he's probably going to start up again. I was like, I don't know. This is <clears throat> see, he was in WF. They said it from. Oh, 06 to 14, 2014, so 06, 07, 07, 08, 09, 10, 7 or 8 years, and nothing there, so, yeah. <clears throat> they say he quit, he say he got fired, they say he walked out, they say, oh boy, but well, yeah, this was, <clears throat> hopefully they say this, you know, start off fresh and new, and he said, no, <clears throat> no problems and no, and no more, and no BS thrill ride for the WWE Universe no matter what it is. I'm thrilled, we're all thrilled to have him back here and to have him back. Cliche to say, to have him back home in WWE, it's where he belongs. So what exactly do WWE have to be afraid of when it comes to CM Punk? Well Punk returns to WWE with an excessive amount of baggage. Punk's reputation following his two AEW runs isn't exactly the best and this is something that Punk is going to need to address especially with those talents who have had reservations regarding his return. Now, speaking of those talents, it's no secret that several top talents, including Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, aren't fans of Punk as a human being. In fact, Rollins was absolutely furious following Punk's return, and fans are still debating as to whether or not Rollins is trying to work a future storyline. Although Punk is going to have to put in the work to win over the likes of Rollins and Reigns, the former Shul stablemates have always been known to be extremely professional, so they could easily put aside any personal resentment in favor of making magic in the squared circle. But WWE are also in a weird position with Punk's return as Vince McMahon is out of the picture, yet Punk is now working under Triple H. Mm -hmm. It's common knowledge that Punk and the game loathed each other a decade ago, yet from the game's perspective, he himself admitted that he was totally a different human being compared to a decade ago, so there's likely to be zero issues from the game's side. Another factor in why the relationship between the game and Punk may be positive is that we've seen Triple H have the ability to put prior bad blood aside in favor of business. Names such as Goldberg, Cody Rhodes, and even Scott oh, Cody Rhodes smashing the, the thing, I remember that. Game. Yet this has never faced the head of WWE creative, and he's been able to work with these names with zero issues surfacing. But in relation to if Punk holds any That's resentment the towards the Hall of Fame now. They WWE, been in there. it's likely that he doesn't. As it was Punk himself who visited WWE back... America's leadership in innovation is being challenged mm -hmm. by the Biden mm -hmm. administration's overly burdensome regulations. When chemistry is allowed to create solutions, EWB back in April and was said to have encouraging discourse with the game, so it looks like Punk himself is fine with Triple H over a decade later. The obvious concern is that McMahon could easily sneak back in and revert WWE's creative practices. How about sneaking back in for a third time? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. With Punk. Now, there's also the issue that McMahon evidently still dislikes Punk. As back in April when Punk visited Raw, it was McMahon who made the executive call to have Punk leave the building, so clearly McMahon has a negative stance. The thing with McMahon is, is that he always made up with talents who have, from McMahon's perspective, wronged him. 
Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, even Cody Rhodes all had issues with McMahon and the company in some way, shape, or form. Yet McMahon always seemed to welcome them back with open arms. A WWE is vastly different to how it was a decade ago, and since McMahon left the creative aspects of the company to Triple H, the product is booming, and the micromanagement style that led to severe unhappiness has virtually been erased. Punk could truly thrive in this environment, yet Punk still needs to remember that he's working with other writers and producers, so if they have an idea for a promo or segment, he must be flexible and easy to work with. It's worth addressing that outside of the 2014 workout, Punk's first WWE run for the most part was unproblematic. Yes, he had arguments and fell out with the likes of Vince McMahon, yet this occurs with every top star. Punk was spoken highly of by talent such as John Cena, The Undertaker, Kane, Batista, Randy Orton and even The Rock, so it's unlikely that any talent is going to have difficulty working with him. Punk also walks into a locker room that hasn't changed too much since he was last in WWE. Yes, there are various new faces, but there's also Orton and Kofi Kingston, The Usos, Cody Rhodes, and these are all talents that worked endlessly with Punk during his first run, and more importantly, these are all talents that actually liked Punk. Ultimately, the question of whether or not WWE made a mistake in rehiring Punk is very difficult to address. Will there be problems? Well, it's hard to say. If you take Punk's attitude during his days in AEW, then it's easy to conclude that Punk will cause issues within a few short weeks. Yet this is a completely different environment. WWE is delivering sold out shows on a weekly basis and the product is in a prosperous position. Punk is coming into a vastly different company compared to a decade ago and as long as Punk works hard, respects others around him and is prepared to do business, then Punk's second run in WWE has the potential to be I seriously think I doubt it'll, it'll uh, get messed up this time because this is a, if something happens this time, this will seriously be it. Because he's not going to, um, oh, what's it call it, uh, TNA or Impact, whatever you want to call it. And he's not going to Japan, so he's this. This is going to be it. So I don't think he'll. That'll be crazy as hell. Uh, 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 something gets the best of him this time, but I doubt it. But then again, <laughs> I don't think he'll let. It, uh, no, I don't think he'll. No, I don't think so. Just because this, this, this is this is it. This is all she wrote after this. Truly magic. What would you guys think? Have WWE made a huge mistake in re-signing CM Punk? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content. Yeah, I don't think he um <coughs> it'll get messed up this time. It's because a lot of those dudes <coughs> I don't know how Jack. I think that dude, Jungle uh, Jungle Jack, whatever his name is, um he was twenty something years old. Then the other dudes playing favorites uh, with their buddies, and and then um that whole brawl in the back room. Uh, I was like, that ain't happening. Uh, not over here. It ain't. Uh, over there. It ain't. I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't think. I seriously don't think he'll um screw it up unless somebody really, really doesn't like him and tries to set him up to get him out of there just because they don't like him. That'll be dirty. That'll be dirty as hell if, if somebody tries to pull that stunt. I. Hope not, but that'd be fucked up. But yeah, I don't think he'll. Um, maybe there's thirty percent that thinks be, something might happen again. But I don't think he'll. <clears throat> I don't think he'll mess this up again. I uh, let let this get messed up. I doubt it.